before we go to our top three after the cross country here today. And uh, two very important people that have put this horse trials on in 11 weeks only, usually 11 months for a, a horse trials like this, but 11 weeks. Andrew Fell and Helen West, and also to our cross country course designer, Captain Mark Phillips. Firstly to Andrew, um, it has been a remarkable feat, nothing short of a miracle that these horse trials have been put on with the massive help from Chiddington as well, but yourself and the team have delivered an amazing competition in such a short time. Please tell us how you have done it and how proud are you? Oh, I'm very, I'm very proud of this and the biggest thing is we we're set in the most beautiful grade one list in Parkland. But the greatest thing we have here is the team behind. We have a very small team here, but the team have done an absolutely outstanding job of delivering it. It has been, there has been challenges in the whole thing. Um, we had uh, issues every once in a while, but I'm, I'm so proud of the team and what they've managed to accomplish. It has been nothing short of a miracle. Um, Helen, to you, you designed, we keep saying the spring, but it actually it was only June, um, the four star long, you designed the four star long in June. Little did you know that in 11 weeks time, less than three months, there was going to be a five star to replace the Burley horse trials, which very sadly we, we lost due to COVID restrictions. Um, what has it meant to you to have, have a five star here? Don't, honestly, Spence. Um, look, when we were given the opportunity to host the Brahman replacement, the four star in June, I was, as everybody knows, <laughs> visibly um, elated, excited. It's an opportunity that I have wanted for here for a very long time. Um, I knew we could showcase that. Uh, like Andrew's alluded to, we have a fantastic team. And when that came along, you know, with the backing from Jeffrey Guy from Cheddington, that enabled that four star to happen. And I remember halfway through the four star, somebody turned to me and said, so how would you feel about running a five star? And I just laughed and I said, hang on a minute, let's just get through this week. You know, let's just hold your horses. Um, and then following the success of the four star, um, yes, you know, a, a tender opportunity went out to all organizers. Um, to potentially host a replacement for Burley as a one-off. Um, and we were the only ones that were mad enough to put our, uh, <laughs> our, our hat in the ring, our name in the ring, sorry. Um, so it was a massive, massive um, collaborative effort. Um, and it was very much backed by the Event Horse Owners Association, the Event Riders Association, the um, BOA, the British Eventing Organisers Association, and British Eventing. And for me, it just shows what can be achieved when we all work in collaboration. Um, you know, the presentation that we put to the FEI was very, very strong. And, you know, the FEI eventing committee were great. Um, and I'm extremely grateful to everybody that got together to make this happen. Uh, the other thing I will say is I've enjoyed this one quite a lot more than the four star. Because for the four star, I was obviously designer and Mark was helping me. And this one vice versa so my nerves today whilst they were pretty bad they were nowhere near as bad as they were with the four star because i passed that one over to mark <laughs> <laughs> well that might, might take us uh, quite nicely over there but just before we do speak to uh, captain mark one question i asked you at the beginning of the week was a five star has come to devon and we have been very short of them the last five star that ran in the uk on british soil was back in 2019 at burley did you once, either of you, have chance to sit back and realise that it was all happening and enjoy it? Um, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It has been fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. What's been really special is for these horses, missing out, potentially missing out two years of five star, it makes a massive difference. You've got horses, if we were waiting till next year to have a five star, they may not be there, they may not be fit, they might be too old. So it was really, really important. So important for the horses, so important for the owners, 
for the sponsors and for the fans to make sure that we put on which what is the pinnacle of the sport. So for me, I've really enjoyed that. And for you, Helen? Okay, well, as I alluded to, I've enjoyed this one a lot more because um, <laughs> I've taken a slight back seat, so to speak, um, and I definitely was nowhere near as nervous as I was for the four star. Um, it just, I'm not going to lie, on Wednesday I was extremely emotional. Um, having sort of stepped back from my role here and taken the role at British Eventing, um, Wednesday it really hit me that I have in effect handed over my baby <laughs> eight years of very hard work and you know building up that team and i'm just so so incredibly proud of everybody and what we have accomplished um yeah i so now i've gone from being a bit emotional on wednesday to just feeling an immense sense of yeah achievement, achievement. and i'm very very proud of everybody well i think that deserves a round of applause well done to you to andrew and the team Quick word from uh, 2021 Five Star Course Designer here at Bicton, Captain Mark Phillips. Mark, it has been a really hard job. I think I heard in a in a former uh, press release that you underestimated the undulations here and just how impactful they were on the course and in the course. You came here to help Helen with the Four Star. Got a little bit of an idea about the course, but. Just tell us how you put this together and how you feel today went. Well, I think, um, I, I think firstly, well, uh, <coughs> change the subject slightly. <laughs> Andrew said he enjoyed it. Um, the trouble with the Irish, you never know when they're telling the truth. We're, we're only half the truth. <laughs> because uh, we learnt a lot from the four star in, in, in June. Uh, I certainly learnt <coughs> how much the terrain affected the, the horses and we saw that uh, again today in that quite a lot of horses ran out of, ran out of petrol and um, <clears throat> but I think this time around uh, we tried to take more account of, of the hills and to give the horses more of a chance to get their breath back at the top of the hills rather than have a, a big oxer right at the very top. Um, <clears throat> You know, as a designer, you always want to see everybody get round, so we'd always like to see more people get round today. Um, but it's nice to see the, the best horses, the best riders, make it look easy. Um, some riders rode super good. Some riders <clears throat> will be looking in the mirror and realise they've got some, some, some homework to do, and some got unlucky. Um, but I think the, the, the course was fair. Um, and um, I think we've got a actually a, a very good competition for, for tomorrow. I just wish we had a few more, um, a few more people in it. But the nice, the nice thing about <clears throat> today is to see all the, all the people here, because uh, when we ran in June, um, it was sort of behind closed doors. And I think Andrew would admit, the biggest headache today was not actually the course and the fences, but actually on this relatively small site compared to Babington and Burnley, coping with all the people and the passage and flow of people and uh, that's been a massive learning curve for Andrew and and Helen and, and everybody here but hopefully this is not the last time we'll see top level competition at Picton and uh, the team here will have learned massively from their experiences today to make um, next time the experiences not just for the horses and riders but for the crowd, crowd as well even more enjoyable. When you build a, a track like this and having walked around it a number of times myself and the riders walking it and having spoken to a lot of riders we had three combinations inside the time on the cross country the first of those that came with uh, Gemma who we'll talk to in a second in the rider press conference was that pleasing for you is that exactly what the number that you wanted how many did you envisage at the beginning of the day <coughs> I try not to get involved with statistics because the statistics and statistics and statistics and uh, for me the I was happy with the course I was happy with the questions I thought they were fair um, I think a number of people said you look at the individual fences and every one of them looked pretty jumpable but you put them all together and it was a totally different question but you know the cream rises to the top and we saw three of our top riders with uh, our top horses well Ollie's was a younger one but you know, inside, inside the time, and uh, in that respect, I don't mind whether it's, it's, it's three or five or, or ten, 
as long as it's the best riders making it look easy. Yeah? And I think we definitely saw that today. Well, guys, I'm going to let you go because I know that we've got the riders and I know that uh, you also would like to hear from our riders. But for now, please, once again, put your hands together for Captain Mark Phillips, to Helen West and to Andrew Farrell. We will now have uh, our top three riders. And I think